Muscle Whisperer. So Massage Warehouse has asked me to um, uh, talk about what are some of the advantages and disadvantages of uh, therapists in, in the current climate within our profession. Now, there's a couple things I talk about in my actual um, write-up, and one of them is about the educational system. Um, you know, when you're first starting out, what is it that you're actually signing up to? It can be quite confusing because you've got all these different levels, three, four, and five, and how can I just qualify in the level five without doing the three and a four? You know, so it can be uh, quite confusing. But if you go to uh, the employer, you might find out which one is they're looking for. So, what is it that you are leaving with? What skills are you leaving with? I've read some of the courses and their, their um, syllabuses and I see that they're offering all sorts of wonderful techniques and do it in five days and do it in tents in two weeks or whatever it is. And I just find that if you are going to try to learn a technique like MET, you're not going to learn it in an afternoon so really discern whether or not they're spending uh, quality time on a particular technique um, it can be a, a bit of a minefield you have to really investigate what it is that you're actually leaving with so what squ skills will you have to hand and will that be enough to secure your employment and then once you've qualified in the particular area that, uh, uh, or course that you signed up to, what do you do next? I mean, there's thousands of other therapists out there who have a level three. So how do you actually make yourself distinct and stand out from all the other qualified therapists? Do you specialize? What do you do? Because you don't know which direction to go into. So it can be quite confusing and I think that is uh, a bit of a challenge but some of the things uh, that are good at the moment for therapists is to be able to get themselves out there so if uh, our social media um, is you know allowing you to put a website out to interact on Instagram or Facebook or whatever uh, social media platform you want to use but it allows you to get on and, and be the expert in a more um, broad sense. But at the same time, um, you know, networking is uh, word of mouth as your number one way of being able to get out there and make yourself known. So uh, I do talk about that, about specialization, about networking, communication, etc. in my blogs. So you want more information about that, please do feel free to go in there and, and have a read. Um, but generally, you know, within the profession itself, our uh, GCMT and your professional associations are working hard to actually um, make that, um, uh, give you the exposure you need within, let's say, medical professionals or health uh, clinics. Uh, well-being uh, groups to uh, demonstrate as a profession what it is that we have on offer so the PAs and GCMT are doing a good job of um, waving the flag for you and making those connections so do make sure that you are supporting your PA especially one that is part of GCMT um, that's it for me this week uh, but there's lots more on my website if you want to find out a bit more about qualifications and um, you know about how to blog and stuff like that. It's it's all in my uh, uh, on my website. Have a look, and I hope you connect up on my massage Mondays. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye.